How to set up an MIC. This experiment allows the determination of the minimum inhibitory concentration of nalodixic acid for a strain of Estrichia coli. First, remove the sterile 12 well plate from its wrapper. In order to allow correct orientation for interpretation of results after incubation, partially remove the lid to allow you to mark the top left hand corner of the plate number one and the bottom right hand corner number 12. Also label with your initials, the date and the strain of E. coli to be used. Note that the plate is not left fully uncovered while carrying out this labeling. Using aseptic technique, add two mils of sterile tripton soya broth to each of the 12 wells using a sterile two mil plastic pipette. Replace the pipette in its wrapper after use. You will now carry out doubling dilutions of the nalodixic acid by transferring two mils of the 2048 microgram per mil nalodixic acid solution from the bijou labelled NAL to well number one using the 2 ml pipette. Mix the well contents by pipetting the liquid up and down with your 2 ml pipette. Take 2 ml from this well and add to well number two and repeat the mixing. Take two mils from well number two and pipette into well number three. And again, pipette up and down to mix. Repeat these steps up until well number 11. This corresponds to a concentration of one microgram per mil nalodixic acid. Instead of transferring into well number 12, discard the two mils remaining in the pipette. Well number 12 will act as a control. Now add 100 microliters of your assigned E. coli strain to each of the 12 wells.
The plate is now incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. After incubation, each well can be examined for the presence or absence of growth. It may help to place the plate on a dark piece of paper. The first well to check is the control. If there is no growth in this well, then determination of an MIC will not be possible. Once the presence of growth in well number 12 is established, you can then look for the well with the lowest concentration of nalodixic acid where growth has not occurred.